Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and this very special video. It's an announcement video and if you haven't noticed today, big news. The season pass is coming to Cards, the Universe and everything and this I am really looking forward to. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So why don't we go and check out what Avid Joe has got to say. You've been hearing rumours, picking up on whispers, and searching through the void for answers. Cards Universe and everything's first ever season pass is coming soon to take your card battling, deck building, universe exploring adventure to the next level. The all new season pass can be found by pressing a shiny new button on your home screen. With free and premium reward tracks, there's plenty for everyone to get stuck into as you progress through your new season pass by playing Q. Things like completing your weekly achievements or battling it out in the leagues are just a few of the many ways you can progress through your exciting new tiers. For your efforts, you'll be rewarded with coins, gems, trade tokens, special packs, rare cards and more. And be sure to keep an eye out for the exclusive cosmetics that are going to be up for grabs for the duration of the season. Speaking of seasons, we've come to the conclusion that a week wasn't quite long enough for us to delve into the heart of everything in the universe. While our leagues will still be following a weekly rotation, our new exciting themes are going to be lasting for the duration of each season, allowing us to master the occult, explore the bountiful gardens of plant life, or travel back in time to dive into a world of monsters from the deep. We won't be giving away the theme for season one just yet. You'll have to stay tuned for that big reveal. We're always looking for feedback from our players, so be sure to leave your thoughts and your suggestions with us on our official Discord and keep an eye out for those player feedback surveys. Also, if you do have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments. We are so excited for the year ahead with Cards Universe and everything. Trust us, this one was a hard one to keep under wraps, and we're hoping Hope you're as excited as we are for what lies ahead and as always keep it cute well 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 thank you joe that looks absolutely amazing so what have we learned from your little video there well the season passes come in points make prizes and it looks like you can get points through your daily achievements maybe up to 50 points a day you can get points from your weekly achievements it looks like maybe 50 but i would have thought possibly a few more and also it looks like you can get points for winning games whether those are event games or league games we'll have to wait and see maybe you get points for finishing the top 100 or 500 but there we go on that little clip there you can see that little star where you get the points and they are showing gameplay so I'm guessing that you can get points from the gameplay. Good news is the season pass. I think from what we can gather, there's rewards for free to play and there are rewards for uh, people that buy the season pass. Also great news confirmed today from Avid Joe. No cards will be hidden behind the season pass. So every new card will be available as it is now to all players. Obviously, you need a bit of luck, but I think the season pass is going to reward you with loads of cool cosmetic stuff. Maybe some gold, maybe some gems, maybe some card backs. Who knows? Maybe some uh, avatars or something like that. It looks really good. Anyhow, I am really excited about the season pass. I think it's going to be really good. It's going to bring something new to the game. Following on from the success of the events, uh, which was, what, six weeks ago? This is really good. So well done, Avid. Keeping your finger on the ball. Is that right? Keeping your finger on the ball. Keeping your finger on the pulse. Or staying on the ball, whatever the saying is. Anyhow, like I said, no uh, commitments have to pay for the season pass. You can claim rewards on the free side. Or if you prefer to pay for the pass, then you can pay to get those extra rewards. So pretty good. I am liking the look of this. We've got no idea how much the season pass will be and how many levels there will be. But I'm guessing maybe, I reckon maybe 10 levels, 150 points per level. That's what, 1,500 points. Probably then that makes the season going to last maybe four weeks or a month possibly. And like Joe said in that video, different themes will be available uh, in each of the seasons. So I don't really know what that means. Maybe you get extra points for playing special cards. We will have to wait and see. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Please do leave your feedback in the comments about the season pass or about anything else to do with Q. We will make sure that Abbott get to see it. And in the meantime, have fun, take care, and we will see you all soon. Bye.